All right, y'all, so it's finally the day I do. I said what I was gonna do about a month ago. As you can tell by the title already, by the title already, wherever it's probably down here. This is finally the new bike reveal and it's actually not that new. So I've actually had the bike for like a couple months already. It has, I put about almost 500 miles on it. I did buy it brand new. And you are gonna see exactly what it is right now. Does she know I don't love it no more? Does she know I don't love it no more? Does yeah. she know I don't she love her? No. I get a glimpse of that bright light that's peeking through the clouds I wonder what it'd be like if I wasn't on the ground I'm looking through a window where there's happiness around But I'm on the other side, something's weighing me down If I wasn't with it now, shit would be different And I ain't placing the blame on her, but I feel different All the love I've been showing her is her guilt tripping I got problems, you got problems, girl, deal with it I just don't get it, all the times you been hurt I show you all my attention Then you complain about me, not showing any affection Guess reality's different from all the things you expecting Say you expect nothing, but really you hard-headed The idea of perfect is stuck up inside your skull Judging me on my character, I just think that's some bullshit how you gonna tell me that you love me when every time we're together? Alright, so the, for those of you that don't know bikes, this is a 2018 Suzuki DRZ 400 SM. SM meaning supermoto. Now, a lot of people that don't really know me that well, or don't even know I ride, actually didn't know that I've been wanting a dual sport or a supermoto for a really long time already, and I found this bike this bike's actually brand new it's 2018 but it's actually brand new and that's one of the main reasons why I bought it because I was searching for I was looking for slightly used I didn't want to my intention actually was never to buy a brand new bike I, I wanted to get something new, used slightly used I don't know as long as it wasn't like too beat up and I was just searching around Craigslist and I found at my local well it's about a 30 minute drive so I still called a local dealer that had a leftover 2018 model and they were selling it super cheap it was brand new, it had three miles on it, I think, when I bought it, and I went to go check it out, and well, as you can see, here she is. Now this thing, I've been eyeing this thing for quite a while, and it's everything I thought it'd be and more. As you can see, I'm parked in the middle of a field right now, I just went off-roading real quick to get over here. I really do enjoy this bike. It's, I'm telling you, it's like I said, it's everything I thought it'd be and more. You could take it off road, you could dick around on road. It's super light compared to the R6. I know people complain that the DRZs are a little on the heavier side, but it's still less than 300 pounds. It's 280 something, I think, versus the R6 that's like 410, 420. But this bike's just a completely different animal than the R6 is. I mean, I do love my R6, that's why I decided to keep it. I actually. I actually almost traded in the R6 or sold it. I was considering it. I was like, you know what? Do I really need two bikes? What am I gonna do with two bikes in a car? And at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly glad I didn't get rid of it because the R6 is obviously completely different. Like I said, this bike was gonna be something completely different. Probably caught a lot of people off guard. I know like some of my friends, I've told them I wanted a new bike a while back and they thought I was gonna get an R1, which I might eventually, but I'm still having fun with the R6. I've had that bike for, four years and I'm, I'm not bored of it it's, it's a the 600 cc bikes are like the perfect bikes to ride on the street because you could you can go pretty hard on them without getting in too much trouble I mean you'll still get in trouble but it's not as crazy as a 1000 would be but yeah so I kept the R6 I mean I'm pretty sure I've said it before or I do have both bikes I have the R6 and I have the DRZ 400 now I mean this bike is literally bone stock like that whole cinematic that you guys saw of it it's came with the gold wheels and everything this is the exact color scheme I wanted because my R6 is obviously black and gold and I wanted the DRZ to be black and gold and I actually took a picture of it right now so that's gonna be that's a new ending picture I could use because as you could as anyone who watches my videos could tell I use my R6 as an ending picture and I use the Subaru as an ending picture there's so many fucking mosquitoes out here Jesus <laughs> get out of here dude oh I hit the camera get out of here mosquitoes but I took a pretty nice picture of this bike. I actually didn't have any pictures of it before today. And 
it's nice to finally share it. I actually don't even have any pictures of this bike on my Instagram. I'd never, I didn't really tell people that I bought it. I mean, my brother knew, obviously, he went with me to go get it because yeah, he took my car and he drove my car back and I just rode the, the DRZ back. I didn't want to pick it up. Everyone at the dealer is like, all right, so you're going to need help putting it on your trailer? And I'm like, what trailer? I'm riding this shit back. Why would I, who buys a bike and doesn't ride it back home? Like, that's like the best part, getting on your new bike. I mean, this thing is literally the first brand new vehicle I've actually ever bought. I've never bought a brand new vehicle before this. My R6 is a 2009. My old STI was a 2008. This current STI is a 2016. And all my other cars I bought and have been used. I've never bought anything new, you know? It's like, I feel like new depreciates really fast, but the deal I got on this DRZ, I, I couldn't pass it up, so I had to just get it brand new. And I couldn't even find any used ones in my area, actually. I looked, I was looking at the DRZ 400 SM, which I ended up going with. I was looking for a WR250X. The closest one I could find was in San Diego, six hours, seven hours away from me. I was looking to go that far for it. And um, I was looking at the WR250R. And I don't know, like I sat on both, but they had both at the dealership brand new. Like, do you want the WR or do you want the DRZ? I'm like, well, let me sit on both first. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even sit on the WR. I sat on this bike and I'm like, this is the one I want. I'm taking this one. I already have a Yamaha in the family. I wouldn't mind having another one, don't get me wrong. But it's nice to have uh, variety. Variety, it's really nice to have that. You know, if, like some days I'll take the DRZ to work like I did today. Other days I'll take the R6 to work like I did yesterday actually, because yesterday's Monday. This is Tuesday when I'm recording this. Tuesday, what's the date? Uh, August 20th. And I even said I normally don't record during the week, but I don't know, I really wanted to get this out there finally. Like, I've been lagging and lagging and lagging. In my last video, I gave a little sneak peek at the very end of the blurry bike. But if you look at it now, I'm sure you could tell it was this bike. But yep, she's a beautiful machine. I love her. Like I said, I currently have almost 500 miles on it, so I haven't even like went full throttle on it yet. I'm still trying to do the 1,000 mile break-in. And the first 500 miles have been really fun. I only, I'm only at 500 right now because I've, like I said, I've been swapping between the bikes still. I'm trying not to... My fear when I was buying another bike was that I was going to let one sit and the other one was going to get all the love. So I'm like, you know what? I can't do that. I got to share the love between the R6 and the DRZ, which I've been doing. So I think if I got rid of the R6, this bike would probably have maybe close to 2,000 miles already or so. Because it fucking bugs, dude. Because I actually ride a lot. I mean... My car, like I said, sits most of the time. Poor fucking thing. But these bugs are starting to annoy the hell out of me. Well, good thing I'm gonna get out of here soon because this is just a quick reveal video. You know, I still have the other weekend's vlog that I'm still working on. I haven't even started editing yet. I was gonna start yesterday. But then, uh, fucking Swave, you know, you Swave, you hit me up, you joined me on Fortnite, and so that editing didn't even start. Then we didn't even play, we ended up playing Portal. I mean, I played Portal 2 a long time ago when it first came out, but so we've never played it before, so we've been playing co-op, and that's what I'm going to do after this. I'm going to go right home right now, because he's, what time is it? Yeah, he's probably waiting for me already. I told him I'd be on 15 minutes ago, and I'm barely going to go home. But yeah, I'm going to go home right now. I'll close out this video, go home, play Portal, edit this, try to have it up by today, maybe tomorrow, the latest. Really, even for today, little while here, brothers. Look. It was one brother. But try to have this up by today, by tonight, or tomorrow morning. Uh, that's pretty much it for the DRZ. I mean, mod wise, I don't think I'm gonna modify it. The only thing I've done to it was put an LED bulb in it because the stock collagen bulb sucks really fucking bad. And the LED makes a pretty big difference. It's really bright at night. It's not too bright. I've never been flashed on it though, so it's not like overkill bright. But I mean, all I really wanna do is just throw an exhaust on it. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the power rise. I didn't buy this bike to make power with it. Obviously, if I wanted to make power, I would have bought an R1 or I would just fucking. That's what the R6 is for if I want to go faster. But I just like. Honestly, I just like fucking around on this bike. It's really fun. And I, I don't regret getting it at all. It's Even though it was brand new, you know, like and I said, I didn't want a brand new bike. But I love it. If you're thinking about getting a bike and you like dual sports or supermotos, get one because this thing is fucking amazing. As much as I love my R6, I still love my R6, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna lie, like I still love that thing. But they're made for two completely different things. R6, go fast, go on tracks, have fun. Supermoto, 
tap on the street, jump onto some dirt, jump into the grass, jump into a trail, a forest, or whatever the fuck you want to do with it. That's, it'll handle it really easily. So I'm just going to say that I'll see you guys this weekend. Bye. Yeah, do you know the definition of a passion? When you have killed yourself every day to live within the lavish To manage your madness, use entertainment that you have seeds up and planted Now you never sleep, cause there's so little time to take advantage All I ever wanted was to banish anguish All of my own and what I can of yours